we talked about this last week with the Terminator, and we we're trying to figure out, well, how are they going to fit in the storylines? They're young Sarah yeah, Connor. I remember older mentioning Sarah that. Yeah, we talked about it, yeah. and then apparently they came out and said the last three movies didn't happen. Which even, I really even though Arnold Schwarzenegger was in a couple of them, they literally just sit straight up said Redcon, those go right into the trash. Oh, man. Which I, is unfortunate because I like the idea of working with what you have. Okay, yes, yeah. uh, you could make an argument for those first two, but the last one, Genesis, I love that movie. I really oh, so it was what a it was. fun movie, summer movie, and it was cool to bring her back. She's younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was the younger one. He was like a T-1000. I mean, next like, or whatever. Next, you're going to get rid of all that? Like, oh, that's not cool. Again, I guess, but again, you have James Cameron's, uh, he's not directing, he's like, but part of the yeah. creative team. So if he says so, it's his property, it's his characters, it's his original story. Yes. Hey, he says it, then he puts his blessing on it. He does his little hand sign, and boom, those, those hey, movies are gone. gone. If I'm allowed to say Star Trek Discovery, I could say I like this to be part of Terminator. <laughs> it's just, you know, I know James I know. Cameron. Again, if Gene Roddenberry was still alive, then then. Yeah, I guess let's you see, could. So James Cameron comes forward and says, hey, That's we true. have to go back. We, we got to go back. We got to go back to the past. <laughs> and destroy these movies. So basically, none of those movies happen, which is kind of lame. Yeah, I hate yeah, when wow. they do that, yeah. but I, I can accept it. But I guess now we're not tied to those concepts. story themes and those concepts. So now it can go. It's kind of freed now from all mm-hmm. that. So it's going back to Terminator 2. Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. They're only two films that count. So yeah, so now you can do a lot of stuff. Because, I mean, you can do... Because the ending of Terminator 2 was ambiguous. Yeah. It, because the whole concept of... Judgment Day is going to happen no matter what. Maybe that that isn't the case anymore. Yeah, exactly. Because in the third movie, it kind of says no matter what's going to happen. You just push the Maybe John Carter could be a good guy again, so who knows? Yeah, exactly. Good old Johnny C, man. Yeah, Johnny C, kicking butt. Eating dog food. <laughs> that was a funny weird thing. Like he was like a in that film, he was like a loner. Like he's yeah. breaking into animal vet things to get medicine and stuff. It's like, oh, this guy's a bum. Yeah, and he's going to be the leader of the world. And it's yeah. like, what the heck? And then like, because what happens is funny in the movie because he tells the trainer like, hey, tell her who I am. And he's like, oh, he's the leader. And like, it's probably some weird cult guy that has this psycho yeah. bodyguard. You get this really big dude who can kill a lot of people. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. But again. I, I'm I'm fifty fifty on this, but if you have the blessing of the creator, I, I, got, I like the world of Terminator, so I will give it a shot. As long as the trailer's not awful, I will yeah. definitely go see it. Terminator's because it's always Terminator. and Arnold's on board, and Leonard Hamilton's on board, so that that's good. I'm glad they're bringing back the original people, and I'm just wondering how they're going to do it. They're going to do. Is it going to be a future movie? Is it going to be a present day movie? I'm wondering where they're going to go uh, with this. I just love the fact that mm-hmm. Sarah was young, though. I love that idea, but because Leonard Hamilton grown. is up there in years yeah. now, so. Uh, maybe you can do it in the future then. Yeah, so they're going to have to do like Judgment Day already. Do you think they're going to make like it? Like they did in three? Like Judgment yeah, Day they, already they happened? Did, they did in four, yeah. Yeah, they might. Perhaps. But is that to start with you just see a human skull and then the Terminator steps on the skull? <laughs> just like in the first movie? That yeah. could just be a poster. I would love that. that. That's so cool. So I'm looking forward to this film because all the everyone who's behind it. That gives me a lot of confidence. It makes you feel like get this was bought out by some company and it's some direct to DVD, you know, garbage. Like, oh, oh I don't think crazy. Like, like, like would what do they that. did to Robocop. Yeah. There's a I mean, t- there's like nine Robocop movies that no one knows about. Yeah, like, <laughs> they're ridiculous. If you can find them, they're old. They keep getting worse and worse. Yeah, oh, yeah. Each one got worse and worse. Hopefully the Terminator doesn't become that. This looks like it's going to be an actual no. Hollywood production. No, and then you get a good Robocop movie. No one likes it, but... Yeah, whatever. the thing is, exactly. it was a fun... Bro- uh, yeah, it the was a fun one? action film. Yeah. And then made, I guess people get really caught. Well, we're talking about the remake, didn't you? Oh, yeah, the remake. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. That it was, was fun. fun. I like that they focus more on the family because why would the family, the, the wife and kid just leave? They don't even care. Well, first of all, that's one point I always want. I know I'm because we're in that kind of world still. Why would they say, okay, we're going to do this and not get her consent? They'd have to get her consent. It's her wife. We're going to tell her. And they say, oh, oh, he died and then they took his body. Yeah, yeah. but they're not going to do that. That would be stupid. But then that's the whole, look, we saved this officer's life. Look how great we are. It's yeah, that whole thing. I get See, it. See, they they, they, I think that's a better angle. But anyways, back to Terminator. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm just, I'm excited to see some set pieces and where this is going to take place and how old's all the characters. Are they going to do like, is it going to be, it starts in the future, then they go back to the past. It's got to be time travel. It's, it's Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. There's got to be a time travel There's component. always time travel in Terminator. There has not been. Except for the one when they're in the future, there was no time yeah, travel Yeah, it just there. stayed there. It's it just yeah. stayed there, and that's why it probably wasn't a good Terminator movie. Yeah, I don't know. As long as you keep uh, Christian Bale away from it, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah he was a weird. He like a psycho in that movie, but it was funny. Yeah, it was a little weird. And the plot point, we're going to have a, we're gonna make a half human and all that, and somehow his organs are going to match. You know, you know how Carter's crazy ones. it is to do a heart transplant, let alone in the like and how would they know if they're the same blood type? You know, if the Gordon would reject, I didn't know the heart would be compatible. I just think they thought of, wouldn't it be cool if, and they didn't actually think it about it. a robot heart or whatever, yeah. or a human heart, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have a strong heart. Dun, dun, dun. That was kind of lame. But um, yeah. looking forward to it. 
gonna we're gonna keep our eye on this one because we're we're fans of the '80s action films, and the Terminator is one of those films. I yeah, Terminator, especially in Judgment Day when that came out, uh, Part Two. That was oh, that was a, that was probably one of the, again arguably one of the best sequels of all time. Yeah, oh, it was awesome. so good. So many Very big good. action set pieces. To me, that's like I know. Everyone says the summer blockbuster really began with Jaws, but to me, I think it was Terminator 2. I think yeah. that was such a seminal movie. Because so the special great. effects were crazy good. Oh, you yeah. had explosions and gunfires. It was just really cool. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, this... Again, so technically, it's not Terminator 6 anymore. It's just Terminator 3. Yeah. Yeah. Terminator so, like, yeah. yeah, so it's, it's, yeah. I want to get confused now. I'm going to start getting this weird little... This thing count this does. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we're still calling it Terminator 6. It can't be Terminator 6, so whatever. Well, it's terminating the summer yeah, six. The, the, the other three are gone. What? I don't the know. movie should start out with them going back and killing the characters, so that the movies never happen. That'd be funny. Well, that'd be funny back. if it was time travel. Wouldn't that be funny? If that that, that did explained happen? it. Explained yeah. It. Instead yeah. of just ignoring it, they figure out a way to explain it. Maybe yeah, they go back in cool. time to the point of part two. Because they can even bring in parallel universes, and they can do anything. It's a movie. Oh yeah, exactly. Hi right, guys, Crimson Sin here. You just watched a clip from our weekly podcast show. Be sure to check out the full podcast available here on this channel. Also, if you like the content and you want to see more of it, be sure to hit the like button and also go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.